Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss about the most important topics from physics part of your IT Jam Biotechnology syllabus. First of all, let us understand why do you need to learn about the most important topics before you start your preparation. If you are preparing for IT Jam, then you must be doing your BSc now and you don't have physics and maths in your syllabus. But for the entrance exams of MSc, you have to study them afresh. Studying the whole books of physics and maths is not possible for you at this moment, right? Because you have to study for your BSc course also. So, you need any alternative or easier way. So, the most effective and easiest way to prepare for your exam is to know about the most important topics so that your preparation would be more focused. If you go through the previous year's question papers, then you will understand that some questions are frequently repeated. If you solve the PYQs and keep a note of those frequently asked topics, it's easier for you to crack the exam rather than study the whole book. I have already made a video of the last 10 years papers analysis of IIT Jam BT in my channel. If you have not watched it yet, then check it now. The link is given in the description box. Now, let's check out which topics were asked in the last 10 years. First of all, units and dimensions. In 6 out of 10 years, questions from this were asked. Even sometimes more than one questions were from here. I'd say it is the most frequent and easiest topic. Next is motion in straight line and Newton's laws of motion. Almost every alternate year from basic Newtonian mechanics questions were asked and they are generally very easy to solve. Again, this includes projectile motion, collision and specifically from these topics questions are asked. Next, there is work done and potential energy. You may be asked to find the work done by calculating the area under the curve or you may be asked to find the potential energy from any graphical representation. Next in this list is gravitation. It is not so frequent but the questions asked in the previous years were very basic and formula based thus very easy to solve. Next is atomic structure. Questions from this were very frequent in the early times, whereas now it's not so frequent. Next is photoelectric effect. You can see it is asked for only two times, but there is a possibility of this questions in the upcoming years. Next, radioactivity. You can see from 2012 to 15, it is asked every alternate year and from 15 to 18, it is asked every year and after that, it's not asked yet. So, there is a possibility of this question next year. Next, heat and thermodynamics. It was very frequent in the early years, but not now. Kinetic theory of gases. Though it was not asked in the early years, but now it asked in almost every alternate year. And the questions are very, very easy and basic questions. Now comes de Broglie wave. This is an example where you can see that you should have the analytics of last 10 years. As the questions from de Broglie wave was asked in 2013, then 16, then this year, that is in 2021. So you cannot skip any topic which is asked in the previous years. Now comes circuits, resistive, capacitive and inductive circuits. 
These are generally very interesting and easy but seems to be difficult if you don't have a good understanding of the basic circuits. Questions generally include series or parallel combinations of components. With it comes current and electricity. These were asked in 2012 and 16 but very were very easy. Okay. Next, LCA circuit. They were asked in early years but not now. Next, electromagnetism. Questions from here are generally from a wide area and they may seem to be a little difficult to you. Especially when it comes in MSQ type. Questions from parallel plate capacitor are very common and easy generally formula based. Questions from solenoid are again very common. Next comes semiconductors. These questions are very very common and of a particular type. And with that you can see every alternate year logic gets comes with it. And the questions are very basic. Next microscope. Though you can exclude it from physics, I included it here as the questions from this are formula based and again easy to solve. With it comes refractive index which is again very easy. Then comes waves optics, waves oscillation and simple harmonic motion. You can see the questions from waves comes almost every year and I would say these are the most important topics. Each year at least one question you will get from here. Though last year no questions were from any of them. Oh, so these were the topics which were asked at least two times in the past 10 years. Now we will see the topics which were asked only once. Pressure, Young's modulus, fluid dynamics, thermal conductivity, heat capacitor, vital gas, resistance and reactance, spectrometer, communication, rigid body, electrostatics, Young's double sleet. You can see all these topics were asked only once. But you cannot ignore them because you never know if any or all of them are coming in the next year. As we have seen previously, many topics to be repeated after 7 or 8 or 9 years, right? So, we have seen all the topics which were asked in the last 10 years. Now, if you want to know the most important ones among them, then here they are. Units and dimensions, atomic structure, radioactivity, heat and thermodynamics, kinetic theory of gases, resistive, capacitive and inductive circuits, electromagnetism, logic gates, microscope, waves and optics, waves oscillation. Okay. Now, if you want to know which topics are important for maths portion of your biotechnology paper, then you must watch the video of most important Topics for maths part of IT Jam Biotechnology. You can find the link in the description box. And if you are wondering where you can get all the solutions of PYQs, then you must visit my channel where you can get the solutions both year wise and topic wise. You can get some of the playlists in the i button. Also, you must subscribe the channel for all the updates of upcoming videos. And if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like and share. Ta-da!